Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, a fitness and health membership site for people over 50, just like you and me. And you're here today at Celebrating Act 2. This is Short and Sweet, where I teach you one exercise tip and one nutritional tip to keep you healthy and strong. It's pretty good, huh? So today we're going to work on an exercise that does our upper back, a little bit of the lower back, and a little bit lower down in that posterior chain. It affects quite a few muscles and not too hard to do either. Now what does this exercise do for us? Well, it balances the front and the back strength, right? And we want that. We don't want one stronger than the other or too weak and too strong, something of that sort. We want it balanced and on both front, front and back. And it also improves our posture and helps reduce any lower back issues. Pretty good. Okay, so let's get going. So I'm going to use some weights. You don't have to use weights with this exercise, but it's always recommended if you're available to that. Mine are a little bit on the heavy side. Again, you don't have to do that. We're going to pick those little puppies up. All right, now how I'm going to stand, there's various ways actually to stand with this exercise, but one of the ones that I find easy to use is I'm going to stagger my feet. I'm going to hinge from the hip crease right here. So I'm going to hinge over. My abs are engaged. My shoulder blades are down the back and my arms are just hanging with my weights in my hand. Now I'm just going to bring those elbows up high behind my back. I want to be able to see those elbows pointing up way back there, okay? Now you see I'm not moving any other place. Just those elbows up and down, okay? Oh, that feels good. I'm liking this one. Good. Now this makes a nice strong back for you, right? And you want to do about 10 and 12 of those, of course, and maybe a couple sets of them, two to three, depending on where you are in your progression of your workout. Today we're going to talk about personalized nutrition. Now you might have been hearing that around, it's getting to be quite the buzz, but it's not quite ready for prime time. But good to know about it anyway, so when it does come on board. So this is what it does. Where they look at your DNA, DNA, your gender, your race, your health history, uh, your lifestyle. You know, they look at all these things and they try to get give you a targeted, accurate strategy to either uh, prevent diseases or to help manage a chronic disease, okay? They also use it with nutrition and there they look at your microbiome, you know, all those trillions of bacteria, that help us function really well, right? They look at that and that sometimes people don't respond to nutrients in the same way. So if you had a targeted nutritional plan, wouldn't that be great? Be able to get all the nutrients you needed and also help you lose weight. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you know why I do this. I do this to make you happy and strong. <laughs> and I'd like to see you next week at Celebrating Act Two. I'm Donna Lynn. Bye-bye. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.